We're now looking at the Photoshop Elements Photo Editor. And if you are used to previous versions of Photoshop Elements, you'll see that this looks dramatically different. This has been a complete redesign of this program. Now, once you've used it a little bit, you'll realize it actually runs the same. They just moved things around a little bit, made it look a little cleaner, a little, a little nicer to work with. Now, across, across the top, we have our standard menu structure up here. We'll be looking at all of this as we go along. We still have our three basic ways of working, our quick edit, our guided edit, or the expert edit. I normally have my left in expert edit where you have most of your controls. On the right hand side, this is where you'll find all of these shapes in here. We have our different graphics we can bring in, backgrounds, frames, graphics, shapes, text, and so forth, but this is only available here on the expert view. Across the top, or across the bottom, really, you have a lot of quick use buttons, things that you tend to do all the time. Right now we're looking at our graphics up here. Here's the button to switch over to effects. There's our effects. Here's the button for favorites. There's the favorites. These are our buttons, which you used to find up here across the top, right there. They just, just moved them down here and made the buttons larger. But it does the same thing. You can still find your effects, and you still have your filters, your styles, your effects, your different kind of effects to work with, and so forth. It's all still available in here. Click that again and you can deselect that panel and just get that panel out of the way. So click it once, brings the panel in, click it again, panel goes away. Same thing for your layers, click it once, there's your layers, click it again and your layers are now hidden again. Now a lot of these tools have additional functions that go with it, those additional options. These used to show up across the top in a little window. If you used to Photoshop it does the same thing just across the top. They've now moved these down here in a nice big large area with easy to use controls for all the different options for the different tools. Here's our paintbrush. Paintbrush options down here. There's the fill, paint bucket, different options down below. They can show or hide this area, little, little arrow right there. You can hide that area just like that. Just goes away. Click a tool again and it comes back up. It's that easy to work with. There are more options in here. Whenever you see this little icon, there means there's some options. The little question, of course, means that this will take you to the help tool for that section. So pretty easy to work. Notice that you can have several pictures open and they'll show up here as tabs if you want across the top. On the tools over here, a lot of tools to work with. Notice are divided up into sections. If you roll over and see a little kind of little arrow up right hand corner, that means you have additional options in there that you can work with. There are more things available down across the bottom. Click on the little, little arrow right there, a little more. And there are more things you can choose in here. You also can set up a custom workspace to change the way your whole workspace looks. So as you can see, things have been changed dramatically, at least as far as what it looks like and where things are positioned. But again, if you are used to working with Photoshop elements, once you learn where the places, where the things, where the tools have been moved to, Aside from where they've been moved to, they still work the same way. There are some new tools, there are some updated tools, but by and large, our program still works the same. It just looks different. So don't be worried about the new look here in Photoshop Elements 11. Okay, let's just move on to the next video. We'll be coming back to this, and I have a lot of training on the photo editor. But we're first going to be working through the training for the organizer, and once that's done, we'll then come back to the editor a little later on in our training series.